Over in Ukraine, Moscow's latest missile attack struck a city far from the eastern border, killing at least 23 people. The death toll is likely to rise as many others are missing or injured. President Zelensky demands Russia be declared a state sponsor of terrorism. Han Song woo has the latest. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has once again called on the world to officially recognize Russia as a terrorist state. In his nightly video address on Thursday local time, the leader also demanded that Russian forces be held accountable through international legal instruments. The status of a terrorist state for Russia, a special tribunal on Russian aggression, a special compensation mechanism that will direct the funds of the terrorist state to those it wanted to destroy, and of course new sanctions for terror. New sanctions are also needed as soon as possible. His words came after Russia's brutal assault on Ukrainian civilians in the west-central city of Vinnytsia, where as of Thursday night, at least 23 have died as the result of a cruise missile strike with several more missing or injured. Among the fatalities were reportedly three children under the age of 10. In an apparent response, the United States Embassy in Kyiv issued a security alert urging all Americans in Ukraine to evacuate immediately, cautioning that large gatherings and organized events may be targeted by the Russian military. Russia's attack came just before an international conference on alleged Russian war crimes in Ukraine. More than 40 countries convened in The Hague and agreed to collaborate on investigations into the suspected war crimes. Also discussed was Zelensky's request for a special tribunal. It will probably not be easy. Um, uh, it's, there is merit in doing that with as many friends as possible from the international community. Uh, but we will seek to support Ukraine uh, where we can. In a statement released afterwards, the European Union called the assault an atrocity and condemned Russia's, quote, fundamental disregard of international humanitarian law. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, meanwhile, said in a new report released Thursday that it had found credible evidence suggesting Russian forces had indeed committed war crimes, including the killing, rape, abduction and mass deportation of civilians. Han Sung-woo, Arirang News.